Welcome back everybody, and today we're going to be making a two-piece weight bait. This lure is going to have a joint in the middle there, a lip on the front, and also we're going to distribute the weight throughout the bottom of this lure. This is how it suspends in the water evenly. Should be a pretty awesome looking lure, so let's get started. If you didn't know already, wake baits create a really cool V-shaped wake that fall behind them. They have a really unique bill at the front that's about an 85 or 90 degree angle. These wake baits are also made that aren't jointed. They just look like a crankbait, but their lips at more of a severe angle. It's a really unique lure, and you'll find yourself to catch a bunch of fish with them. So, with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so I was working on my lure last night, and uh, my drum decided to break. So, that was actually my grandpa, so it kind of stinks that that broke, but he did have it for 20 years or so, so... I guess it was time to get a new one. So we ran to the hardware store today. We got a new drum here. It has all kinds of different parts, and I'll show you guys all that. I also got some other stuff here. I got some uh, sealant. I'm going to try that out for uh, sealing the wood before we test it and uh, see how it does. We also have some 10-pound uh, wire here just to make uh, hook hangers and line ties and stuff like that for smaller lures. And then we also have 20-pound for bigger lures. We also got all kinds of different ends here for uh, for the Dremels. And then we also got another one of these uh, longer bits, just that way I'll be able to drill further into the lures if they're bigger. And then we also got some, some more resin, so that way we'll be able to add the uh, all the components of the lure and it'll stay together even better. So if you are new to the channel, my last video, um, I tried to add some resin to the lure and seal it up, but... It actually, the cold or something screwed up my last resin set, so um, got crystallized and kind of screwed up my resin, so I had to get a new one. I'm going to make sure to leave this inside so it doesn't end up uh, end up like the last one. But with that being said, uh, we're going to get this thing all set up, show you guys how that works, and uh, finish up this, this shaping. So there it is. If the wood looks different, that's because it is. This is the original wood that I started uh, the video with and cutting it out, but it was really hard, so I decided to switch over to a softer wood. Pretty sure this is pine, and I'm not quite sure what this is, but that's really cool looking green. But other than that, I just switched switched over to this, but now we're going to sand this up quite a bit and figure out where all the hardware should go. All right, so getting pretty far along with this lure, and now it's time to just make sure we have everything sand up. And as you can see, there I marked where the eyes are going to be. So I'm going to use a sharp tip Dremel bit to fix out those eye sockets and get those all ready. And we got to sand up quite a bit, finish off the joint, drill the holes in there for where the hardware and joint connections are going to go, and then obviously make all the joint connections, install most of them, and then uh, get this thing all sealed up. All right, now this thing's all separated, as you guys saw. We have uh, the holes all drilled out and everything ready to go. Now we just have to sand it up and seal it. All right, so I made a couple of these joint connections and now we're just gonna temporarily install those so that way we can figure out where the weight should go. So we're gonna be using the same weight testing process as we did for this lure here. Uh, the walk the dog style lure that I made a couple of videos ago. And uh, so definitely go check that out if you want to see this process a little bit more in depth and more explained. And uh, let's give it a shot. All right, so first I glued two split shots here. Uh, there's medium sized split shots and we're going to see how that reacts to this lure. All right, well, that's pretty good. I actually might have just got it first try. I think all I'm going to change is add a little bit smaller of a split shot on the back tail there. Because that is weighing it down a little bit and just considering all the things... That I have to go into this lure like clear coat and paint and everything. I want that to sit up a little bit more than uh, what it is right now. So let's add that. All right, I think that's perfect. I think that's how I'm gonna leave it just like that. Maybe slide that weight up just a little bit, but that's looks pretty good. I think the key with these topwater weight baits is just to have that uh, just a little bit of the wood sticking up on the top left. Uh, just because that way it allows the lip to work and it, it can go down and that will allow that lure to get under the water just a little bit, just under the surface and allow it to have a really cool looking natural action. So it should work out pretty well. 
So we sealed up both those lead holes there with some Vang Stone super glue. Now it's time to sand it up quite a bit, reseal it, and get to painting. So now it's time to paint, and I think we're going to go with a bait fish kind of paint scheme. Uh, I've been stuck on those lately, and I think they always end up looking pretty awesome, and bass seem to love them. So that's what we're going to stick with for this lure today. I'm not quite sure all the components that are going to go into it, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. And uh, I think I'm going to use some, throw in some purples and different colors like that. I just recently got this new color. It's uh, Wicked Metallic Fastback Green by uh, Createx Wicked Colors. And uh, I think that's always a really cool looking uh, color. So I think we're going to try that out on today's lure. Maybe some yellows, gold, silvers, and we'll just see how it goes. So let's get started. To start off the painting process, we add some white for the base coat. And then we add some base colors with this pearlized green here and then also some pinkish purple over top of that to add some contrasting colors to the base coat. And then we got to use some metallic fastback green which looks pretty awesome since it's a color shift depending on how you look at it. It could look like blue or it could look like gold. And then we did some scale stenciling here with some mesh that I got from an aquarium fishnet. I used some pearlized black for the scales and I think they turned out pretty neat. And then I use one of my newer stencils to add some stripes along the side with some pearlized white. It's a minor detail, but I think it adds some cool accents to the lure. And then I went on to stenciling some gills on this lure, and I used the old stencil that I made for last week's video, and I started with the white. Then I went on to add some more detail to the gills here with some metallic fastback green on the top there and then also some gold at the bottom. I think this allowed the gills to stand out more and add a pretty cool accent. And then we used one of our fine tip brushes to hand paint some pectoral fins. All right, now let's see if anything changed drastically with this lure throughout the painting and clear coating process. All right, look at that. That's pretty good. Just a little bit of wood is sticking at the top. It's floating the right way and also puts that lip in a pretty good position to work. So I think this thing will end up pretty awesome. All right, here it is, everybody. The finished up joint awake bait. I think this thing turned out pretty awesome and I'm happy with the color scheme. Quite honestly, I went with more of a bait fish kind of scheme and then it just kind of went a little bit crazy with adding all kinds of different colors, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty unique, and I don't have a lure like it, so it's pretty awesome. So I think this thing would definitely succeed, but unfortunately we have to wait till it gets a little bit warmer to be able to fish with these. And I plan on bringing you guys along in all kinds of adventures over the summertime and spring when we get to go fishing a lot. So that's the plan for that, and I think it's turned out pretty awesome. I'm happy with all the different things I have to test out as well. I clear coated the lip on this actually. Uh, normally I, I just kind of clear coat around the lip and make sure I don't get this in the way, but I don't know why I just decided to dunk the whole thing in and see how it worked, but really nothing really changed, but it just looks a little cleaner, which is pretty cool. So that's what I did with that. And also I wanted to mention that I'm going to be changing the date of my uploads. Normally for the past eight weeks or so, I've been uploading every Wednesday, but now we're going to change that to every Saturday, just to allow myself to have more time to work on bigger projects and different lures and kind of get better videos for you guys. That's the plan. And a lot of things get in the way during the week and, you know how it goes, being busy and everything, but I want to be able to make sure that I have enough time to create a great video for you guys. So that's what I'm going to be doing with the uploads, and with that being said, thank you guys so much for sticking to the end with me. This thing was a ton of fun to make, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.